The following tutorial is brought to you by wholeloops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're going to tune some drum samples. Getting your drum samples in the same key as your song will help them sound a bit more cohesive with the melodic elements in your music. It's not essential to do to every drum sample, but it's certainly something to try to see if it makes it sound better in your song. I've selected a few different types of samples, and I'm going to demonstrate my go-to method of finding the key of these samples that are not labeled by key. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is pull up, uh, I have a kick here, simply double click it. It opens it up in a sampler. I'm actually going to use sampler for this. Um, so when we press middle C, our kick plays at its original pitch. We're not sure what key this is yet, uh, but to find out, we're going to add an operator down here. We don't have to touch the operator. And then we're also going to add a tuner to here. Next, hold command, enable them both. Now they're both playing. So let's get this kick up to the same octave as the sine wave. This tuner sometimes helps. Most of the time it doesn't. I just put it here. If it starts working, you'll see it start working. But uh, eventually you'll learn not to rely on this. And with practice, you'll be able to do it by ear just by comparing the sample with the sine wave. Let's go down an octave. Great. So uh, by comparing it with the sine wave, we figured out that this is uh, around a D, a little bit sharper. Tuner didn't really help for shit with this one, but uh, we'll leave it there for the next one. So when we play our kick drum, we get a C when we touch a C, and that's what we're looking for. Let's try another sample. Do you produce music and love making hot club bangers? Do you find yourself constantly searching for those crispy snares and percussions? Do you want your beats to make people turn up? Maybe it's time you stepped up your sample pack library. Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Raw Hits, our debut sample pack of organically grown drum one shots, loops, FX, vocal samples, and all the production essentials you'll need to add some organic flavor to your secret sauce. Raw Hits is available now only at wholeloops.com. Let's try this cowbell. Uh, let's double click it just to start fresh. The detune will give you some fine adjustment if, because I feel like B is pretty close but not exact. You can see our tuners helping us a little bit here, telling us how far off we are. But like I said, you really don't want to get reliant on this to work because it very infrequently actually works when you run drums through it. Now our cowbell plays a C when we hit C. Maybe bump it up a little bit more. Let's try this with a snare drum. Make it a sampler. Try the other notes just to see if it still uh, sounds correct. I 
So you can see the tuner's really not helping us with this one. Um, just kind of got to do it by ear. And then when we uh, bump it back up an octave to E2, turn off our sine wave. When we hit a C, we get a C. That way when you do your MIDI, if your song is an F, all your MIDI notes can be F as well. Let's try this with a uh, rim. Let's see, turn on our sine wave. Around there. Sometimes it helps just kind of go way low and then bring it back up or go way high and bring it back down. Right there, C sharp. Not every drum sample is going to have enough of a tone to it to really be able to figure it out. And I think in those circumstances, those are the samples where it probably doesn't matter whether or not it's in key because it may not be tonal enough to fall under any key. And there's been times where I have intentionally left drums out of key just because uh, I thought that they sounded better. So there you have it, my quick and easy way to find the tuning of your samples. I hope you find this very useful. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like these videos, subscribe for my weekly tutorials. If you like this, leave a comment telling me why. If you'd like me to talk about something specific, leave a comment telling me why. I'll catch you next week for Tutorial Tuesday.